You've been diagnosed by your doctor that you are one of the millions of Americans who can't get a good night's sleep and will need a sleep study to find out why. We wanted to give you an idea of what to expect at a Sentara Sleep Center as you go through a comprehensive evaluation for your sleep disorder. Every Sentara Sleep Center offers state-of-the-art diagnostic services and a full range of services to evaluate, diagnose, and treat sleep-related problems, including sleep apnea. Great. Come on back. We'll get you settled in. Thank you. After seeing a sleep specialist, you may require a sleep study. The highly trained technicians at a Sentara Sleep Center will help you through each step of your sleep study. When you arrive the night of your study, the technician will get your height, weight, and other details for the doctor, who will go over your sleep study. All right, that's great. You can step on down. You will be shown to your private room and asked to fill out some paperwork. If you'd like to fill this paperwork out ahead of time, you can download it from our website. You will then have time to prepare for bed. Once you are ready, the technician will then begin the wiring process. You will have some sensors on your scalp, face, chest, and legs. There will be other sensors attached to monitor breathing, pulse, and oxygen saturation. I'm placing these electrodes on your scalp over the portions of your brain that we can best pick out the sleep brain waves. While you are asleep during the night, the technicians will monitor your brain waves, breathing, and heart rate all on the computer. Video cameras focused on the bed will record your sleep positions. For the most comprehensive evaluation possible, Sentara Sleep Centers are equipped with state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment to monitor brain, heart, respiratory, and muscle activity during sleep. This equipment, combined with our physician's knowledge of the latest advances in sleep-related diagnostics and treatment, allows us to provide the best possible care. Sleep studies are designed to look for many different sleep disorders. The most common is sleep apnea, where patients stop breathing during the night. If you have sleep apnea, the technologist will try to treat you the night of your sleep study with continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP. This treatment involves a mask that goes over your nose and blows air into your airway to keep your airway open so you can continue to breathe. The pressure of the CPAP is adjusted until you can breathe normally. In some cases, it is necessary for a second sleep study to perform this CPAP treatment. Some patients have more severe apnea in certain positions or sleep stages that we may not see until later in the night, not giving us enough time to then treat the sleep apnea in the same night as we diagnose the problem. On the day of your sleep study, you will need to continue taking your prescribed medications unless the clinician tells you otherwise. Don't drink any alcohol the day of your study or have caffeine after three. Also, no naps the day of your study. And don't add any oil to your hair or body, so no conditioner, no lotion, but just that day. Please keep in mind that we'll be using cream on parts of your scalp, so make sure we're able to get to your scalp with your hairstyle. This cream will come out in the shower and is water soluble. What should you bring the night of your sleep study? You need to bring your own pajamas. Top and bottom sleepwear is recommended over nightgowns. You may also bring a toothbrush and toothpaste, shampoo, and a favorite pillow. We do provide toiletries and bedding, but many patients prefer their own personal items. You can bring snacks and a book or something to do before bedtime. Some of our sleep centers have TVs and some do not. You may want to record your favorite shows at home just in case. You can have one to two visitors, but they must leave at bedtime. Some patients may need additional testing, which would be explained to you at your office visit. These tests could include a multiple sleep latency test, where you take a nap every two hours after you wake up from your sleep study, a maintenance of wakefulness test which examines your ability to stay awake during the day, and a driving simulation test to see how your sleepiness impacts your driving performance. These are all daytime tests that take place the day after your sleep study. If you are scheduled for any of these additional tests, please ensure that you bring a set of clothes, books, or computer to keep you occupied, and a lunch. You will not be permitted to have any caffeine that day. 
Sentara Sleep Centers, providing accurate and skilled evaluation, diagnostic testing, treatment, information, and support for patients like you suffering from sleep disorders. All Sentara Sleep Centers are nationally accredited by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine or in the process of accreditation. If you would like more information, visit our website at sentara.com forward slash sleep or call the Sentara Sleep Center most convenient for you.